Germany announces decision to intervene on Israel's behalf in ICJ case. Namibia slams Germany's support to Israel in genocide case. Why is Namibia furious at Germany's ICJ's intervention supporting Israel? A country that committed genocide more than once is defending another accused of committing genocide. Ironic? Let's break it down. Berlin had offered to intervene and participate in Israel's defense in a case South Africa recently brought to the International Court of Justice, accusing Tel Aviv of committing genocide in Palestine's Gaza. Namibia, a former German colony, was quick to condemn Berlin on X, saying the move shows Germany had failed to draw lessons from its genocide in the South West African country. Namibia's reaction then piqued the curiosity of online users, with many saying they were unaware of the atrocities Germany had committed on Namibian soil. In what is often called Germany's forgotten genocide, German colonialist commanders committed grave atrocities against the peaceful people of Namibia, particularly the Hereros and Namas between 1904 and 1908. It began when German settlers invaded Namibia in 1884 and enslaved the indigenous people, using them as laborers on their own lands, as the settlers continued colonizing and occupying more and more Namibian territory. By January 1904, a group of Hereros led by Samuel Maherero decided they had had enough. They organized a rebellion against the German colonizers in which 100 settlers were killed. However, the Hereros stood no chance against the Germans, who possessed advanced weaponry. In 1904, the Hereros were cornered by German commander Major Theodor Lutwin, and a surrender was negotiated. The German government in Berlin grew frustrated with Lutwin's slowness. However, and appointed a new lieutenant general, Lothar van Trotha, who abandoned all peace-oriented negotiations and circled the Hereros with his troops, killing an estimated 3,000 to 5,000 of them. The remaining Hereros who were cornered at the edge of the Kalahari Desert were forced to flee to Botswana, which was then under the British protectorate. Most died of starvation or thirst or from drinking water poisoned by the German settlers. Trotter continued his killing spree unabated and ordered his men to pursue the Hereros. In October 1904, he then issued a proclamation stating that he would kill each and every Herero, armed or unarmed, women and children, all were slaughtered in cold blood. By November 1904, the order was overturned and the surviving Hereros were forced into concentration camps. In 1905, another resistant group emerged against the German colonialist, the Nama. For two years, they fought the Germans, incurring many casualties. The surviving Namas were sent to the concentration camps alongside the Hereros. They were overworked in severe conditions, tortured, and some of the women among them were subject to sexual violence and rape by the settler colonists. Within a year, the majority of the population died, with historical assessment estimating that 100,000 Hereros, constituting 80% of their population, and 10,000 Namas, equivalent to 50% of their population, were killed. In 2008, Germany returned human remains to Namibia, including 19 human skulls, five skeletons, and numerous skin fragments that are now being housed in museums, hospitals, and churches in Namibia. And in July 2021, the German government finally recognized the atrocities it had committed in Namibia and officially acknowledged the massacres as a genocide. We bezeichnen heute these Ereignisse jetzt auch offiziell als das, was sie gewesen sind, ein Völkermord. Wir bekennen uns damit auch zu unserer historischen Verantwortung. The German government also agreed to provide Namibia with development funds of, of 1.1 billion euros over the course of 30 years to aid its infrastructure and for health training. Although it refused to make reparations for its historical actions 
and neglected to offer individual payments to the genocide survivors' descendants. Namibia says Germany has yet to fully atone for the genocide it committed on Namibian soil and is making it clear that Berlin cannot morally express a commitment to the United States Genocide Convention while it is supporting the equivalent of a holocaust and genocide in Gaza.